If you're looking for a mini crypto mining rig to earn easy passive income from home, then look no further. This is the video for you. I'm super excited because this is the third mini miner. Actually, it's more like the fifth, but it's actually the third of their box model miners that we've reviewed here on the Vosk on YouTube channel. My name is Vosk and I love everything cryptocurrency. But if you notice the green screen behind me, I've been sucked into making crypto videos here on the tube because I don't know, I just have a lot of fun and it's an incredible opportunity. It's crazy you guys even care about, you know, what I have to say and the videos and everything. And so today's gonna be another fun one. We're gonna be reviewing the Gold Shell HS box. But just stop talking, right? Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, baby, is the game over? I'm super stoked because this thing is crazy quiet. Don't believe me? Listen. But wait, there's more. It's profitable. It mines two different cryptocurrency. One is a top 100 coin and the initial mining profitability metrics aren't even based around that. But enough talking. Let's jump into the review. But first, 10 seconds of tales, our resident Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. We're gonna be running through what this miner is, where to buy it, how to buy it, how to set it up, its projected mining profitability and its real world mining profitability. Hopefully, it's everything you could have wanted. If not, I failed, let me know below in the comments. If you've ever wanted to mine Bitcoin, then you should head to minewithcompass.com and learn how they're making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin now. They sell Bitcoin miners, they will connect you with facilities, co-location, which enables you to host your Bitcoin miners with some of the best Bitcoin mining farms in the world. Click the link below to learn how you can start mining with Compass today. I've said the story a hundred times, you guys are starting to make fun of me down in the comments, but I'm gonna say it 101, I freaking love mining. It's what got me into crypto. And I will never forget that. And I will stay focused on the mission. I don't care how many videos I upload here to the tube because we are uploading daily, if you haven't noticed. It's been uh, a little tiring. It's fun though, but tiring. We're here on the Voxcoin YouTube channel is this is not financial advice. You do whatever you do. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. And watch out for scammers and impersonators in the comments. I'm not emailing you from a Gmail. I don't want your money. None of that stuff. So let's jump into today's video. Also, we don't have an arbitrage group. That's another scam. The Gold Shell HS Box. Supposed to do about 235 giga hash on Handshake, which is a Blake 2B mining algorithm, but not the same Blake 2B as Sidecoin. But I'll explain that here shortly. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And it only consumes 230 watts, which is very small. Basically, like two graphics cards mining or one giant graphics card that's not tuned, possibly mining or performing other tasks. At the time of recording this video, this miner is even in stock which it's hard to get mining rigs in stock or find them in stock to be able to buy them right now. They have a written guide and some video help here, but I hope I'm gonna do a better job for you. Again, these things are super freaking quiet. You could put them anywhere, they wouldn't bother you. Let's quickly talk about the setup. It's a very simple device, but what makes the, the box miner so much cooler than the little single miners that we've previously reviewed is the fact that these are standalone units. They basically have a controller inside it. But like, what does that mean? So that means that you can log into them remotely, which is just a huge, just ease of use benefit. They don't, have, they don't need to be connected to another computer to make it clear. So basically you take it, they've been upgrading their packaging. Gold Show's doing a great job. You take it out and you're like, okay, there's one little connection for power and there's one connection for ethernet. So you connect an ethernet cord to give it internet access and then you connect it to one PCIe cable. It's a six pin, okay, the most common. And you can find a connection like that with any ATX power supply or simply power supplies you're used to seeing in computers and most notably gaming computers or any power supply 
designed for crypto mining rigs. Gold Shell has even released their own power supplies. But I don't recommend these because they're not rated for 120 volt, which is the standard US electricity here in, in the, well, I already said the US, so. It's a standard electricity here in the USA, whereas you will need a 220 volt or really a 240 volt outlet installed by an electrician or yourself, but if you don't have any idea what that is, you should definitely call somebody and just pay, you know, on average, one outlet costs you like $300 or so, depending where you wanna put it. But yeah, so the actual like physical setup here is super easy and I'm gonna log into it and walk you through the basic mining pool setup. I mean, it, it takes just a couple seconds, uh, really. Uh, so we understand what the miner is, what it looks like and what it does. These are the recent box miners from Gold Shell. Instead of keeping the names the same, like Doge Box. Of course they call it Mini Doge or something different to break the scheme, but they seem really excited about this one. Um, so we just released our review on the Gold Shell Mini Doge, and we also recently re released our review on the Gold Shell KD Box. So I'm super excited to complete the reviews of all of their mini box miners, with the HS box. And if you don't know, we are an affiliate with Gold Shell. I get a whopping 3% and they always run out of stock. So I just don't think I'm like shilling this or trying to get rich, um, whatever. I think these are really cool and they really have their place, but I'm gonna talk about some critical drawbacks here at the end of the video as well. So this isn't a miner necessarily you know, suited for everybody here. We've already discussed the specs, but how much does it cost? So right now, $1,000, but that doesn't include a power supply. I really recommend you just grab an EVGA, preferably a platinum or even ideally a titanium, but something like a gold is more than fine. Uh, those are different ratings for basically power supply efficiencies, if you're not familiar. Uh, but I really recommend grabbing something versatile like that. EVGA power supplies come with a whopping 10-year warranty. Um, and then obviously just any ethernet cable will get you where you want to go. This makes this one of the most affordable and profitable mining rigs that is very small, ease of use, can deploy anywhere, can be controlled remotely because it doesn't need to be connected to a host computer or anything like that. Um, this is an absolutely excellent starter mining rig. It's a profitable mining rig, but let's look at a couple other details. For example, Gold Show has been leading the pack in making the best mining rigs for Handshake, HNS, as well as Sciacoin, SC, two different cryptocurrencies that use two different versions of the blake to be mining algorithm. For example, the HS5, the HS3, SE, and they previously had the HS1 Plus and HS1, which were like their original mini miners, which were super freaking cool. And now they've been expanding upon that line with the box series. We also have video reviews on the HS5 as well as the HS3 SE. If you'd like to check that out, I'll link them out down in the video description below. But the simple fact is, if you look at the most profitable crypto mining rigs out right now, just period, there's a lot of gold shell models here on the top of that list. The HS5 at the time of this video is supposed to be pulling about 50 bucks a day mining Handshake. And the HS box is reportedly earning about $4 a day or $3.57 after you pay your electric bill mining Handshake. But it's not accounting for the Sciacoin SC mining profitability. So I am going to come back to this video from the future with my real world mining profitability for SC Sciacoin mining, and I'm gonna be able to plug in that data for you with something indisputable. That's real world data, baby. This isn't a calculator. I'm out there in the digital mines, cracking open some coins. Gold Show has a written guide on their site. I'll go ahead and link it out below for you guys. But I'd feel like I failed you if I didn't give you a basic walkthrough here on the tube, right? So again, you just have to grab the IP address, log into your router. My router just alerts me when any new device um, shows up on my network. And so I saw it pop up, click, click, and it, this is the IP address for it on my local network. And so I just need to put the password in. This used to be hard to find, but it's just simply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Click unlock, you're unlocked. If you have any kind of pop-up blocker, right, or use a browser that automatically does that, has like a shield or something up, make sure to go ahead and turn that off. 
Otherwise, you may have trouble opening the minor page, which is the most critical page here. So Gold Shell did something pretty cool. They previously were just making these miners that were mining Handshake, but then they developed, they updated their firmware, which you can always come into their device by clicking system and you can update the firmware. You can grab the firmware from their official site. I'll link it down below. Watch out, there are scam sites that will have fake miner listings as well as bad, you know, ASIC virus firmware out there. So just use our Voscoin, voskco.in slash gold shell link and it'll get you where you want to go safely. Uh, but anyway, it's cool because they added support for mining Sciacoin via firmware. It's baked into their new models already, so it should already be here unless you're buying some kind of older prototype one. I think all of the box ones will be coming with the proper firmware for this anyway, but you can come down here in the algorithm plan and go between HNS, Handshake Coin, or Sciacoin SC. So Sciacoin, real quick, is a top 100 cryptocurrency, barely but worth a whopping $600 million. Kind of crazy. They got that Lindy effect going for them. Then there's Handshake, HNS, a much newer cryptocurrency and a much smaller cryptocurrency. You could hope that HNS, Handshake, has a much bigger upside. So Sycoin is basically looking to like decentralized, decentralized cloud storage, among a couple other things, but um, you know that's the gist of that. Handshake is looking to be a decentralized naming and certificate authority. So I recommend you check out these projects if you're going to be mining them. I'm not endorsing them or anything like that here, but it's good to know what you're mining. Or there's a couple other things you can do when it comes to mining, like you can use the Luxor mining pool. It's very simple. You can just come over here and set up a, an account and do it. Um, so I'll link it out below if you'd like to check it out. But how, how do you even do that? Um, well, that's a great question. And it's I guess that's my lead in. Uh, so I'm here, I'm logged in, already navigated to the coin. I can click add new worker and skip this first page. You can click the coin you want. Again, I'm on Sci-Coin, And so I click the North America stratum where you can grab the global and you can see that I got that information. And so now I'm logged into the miner like we already discussed and I'm on the coin that I want. For example, I'm gonna be mining Sci-Coin here, which to be clear at the time of recording this video, Handshake is supposed to be more profitable and potentially a bigger upside, but smaller cap coins have, it's a lot easier for them to go down or up, which can be exciting or depressing. You click add pool right there. They have automatic inputs for you to be able to mine Sire coin as well as the Handshake coin with F2 pool as well as DX pool. You need to make an account for both of those. I'll link them out below, but um, so you can make an account. But they're also linked here in your uh, in the setup, which is really cool. And they're also tagging a written guy right here on the side. Like they're they're doing like it's very user friendly, especially compared to most mining rigs and just a lot of the stuff I've dealt with over the years. It's mining is getting easier than ever, which is pretty cool to see. Um, you know, overall, easy, lowering that barrier to entry. It'll increase participation and decentralization, but it's also going to increase competition and potentially lower rewards, you know, by doing that. Um, so it already puts Stratum plus TCP in there, so don't do it again. It'll even alert you, which is cool. You can just have a nightmare of a time you do things like that wrong, you don't notice with other mining rigs. They won't tell you, it just won't work. Um, it, it's crazy, like just little things like that. Some people don't realize how much easier they're making your life. So I'm just putting my username here, dot worker name. So this is gonna be the HS box, so I'll just put that. And password can be anything, quite literally, or one, two, three, or X. So I'll just put X there, click apply. I already did that, so I'm not gonna do it again. And then you can see that it's right here. If it's your only pool, it becomes your priority pool, and that's uh, you know the one it will mine to. Actually, if you notice, I put one, two, three is the password right there. But the point is also with this is that I don't really bother setting backup pools because most mining pools are so reliable these days. They used to just be, you know, basement garage experiments and they were prone to going down often or being attacked and so forth, whatever. But I, I should like technically say like, yeah, you should put some backup pools in. But I'll be honest, I don't I don't bother. But you can do that and you just line them up in your priority. So the one right here, it'll say inactive. 
but it'll be your priority tool too if this one goes down the miner will notice that and check and then it'll go ahead and fail over or switch over to your secondary tool the cockapoo token has officially launched and that's a ticker with C poo but but what is that we talked about it a couple of days ago their pre-sale sold out in just one second and their token increased 8x in price after that but what is the token anyway so they're aiming to be a utility based meme token that wants to disrupt the dog poop industry and look i get it to be honest you know it's not a glorious thing but i see tails pooping every day multiple times a day and dog waste removal is a business there's little trucks that come around and you know remove dog waste and they also service uh public dog waste receptacles and so forth i mean it's it's a real thing and dog companionship is exploding pets dogs and other things they're more desirable than ever as more people than ever are working from home cooped up at home and they're like wow i'm lonely i'd love a companion and they turn to man's best friend like my best friend tails our resident Shiba and doge and she's just freaking awesome i couldn't imagine life without her and getting her was the best decision of my life but i aim every day to be the best doge dad that i can if you get a dog, could you say the same? Sipu token is a Binance Smart Chain token. That means they're on the Binance Smart Chain. It makes it a BEP20 token. Okay, so basically, by BSC, if you don't know, it's like a clone of Ethereum. And we've got a full video guide on what the Binance Smart Chain is, how to use it, how to set up the wallet, or we even have another video guide on how to set up MetaMask to work with the Binance Smart Chain. Sipu is now trading on the biggest decentralized exchange on Binance Smart Chain, and that would be Pancake Swap. And yep, we got a 30-minute video guide on what Pancake Swap is and how to use it. But what's the tokenomics, my friends? 8% fee on every transaction. So make sure you increase your slippage, otherwise your trade will not be able to go through. To put it simply, go ahead and put in a 10, or if you're a real DJ, 15, 20% slippage there, and your trade will be able to be executed. So 4% is a LP allocation liquidity provider allocation 2% static reward so if you're holding the coin for every transaction that takes place you're going to get a little piece of that pie then a 1% burn that makes this that deflationary token that's so popular in DeFi, especially on the binance smart chain and 1% of every transaction goes to operations and development if you want to learn more about kakapu token i recommend you check out their site it's linked out below or simply kakaputoken.com Grab your pooper scooper, as they say, check out their white paper and learn more about it. That's the setup though, it's super easy. This device is fantastic. Um, these box miners have been so much fun. They've been very reliable, very robust, very quiet, very profitable, a very just small, sleek. Um, it's just, it's absolutely awesome, really. Uh, from just, um, just absolutely, exhausted with these massive mining rigs that consume like nearly 4,000 watts they're huge you blow out your freaking bicep picking the thing up and you have to have a big electric setup i'm talking 240 volt or you know whatever your correlating voltage is in your area as well as a 30 amp circuit to ensure that you are safely running these that they don't become fire hazards and everything else um so I, know, I just adore these little mini miners because I'm just huge on mining, not only from the passive income, you know, mining opportunities and so forth, or even just the coolest way to acquire coins and obviously decentralized and support a network, but it's really just to get more people involved. Like, I mean, that leads to decentralization and whatever else, but like, this is an easy sale to someone who's like, hey man, like I want to get into mining, which one should I get? I'm like, dude, get this one because it's easy to use, it's easy to set up. It doesn't need a host computer. A lot of people don't have Windows computers hanging around. You're a nerd like me, that probably sounds weird and foreign, but a lot of people actually live day to day just off their cell phones, right? Their iPhone and whatever, which that's a terrifying concept to me. Uh, I mean, I love my computers. But my point is, is that that person can now become a miner via these box miners. Whereas previously, if it needed a host computer, wouldn't be the case. Or if it needed, you know, big electric, wouldn't be the case. They wouldn't bother. But one of the top questions I'm getting right now, and I covered this in the mini Doge review, which you should totally check out if you haven't already, 
um, just you know what miner should I buy for about a thousand bucks ironically this this one comes in at about one thousand dollars and obviously if you've been watching the channel I'm having a lot of fun mining helium and I recommend helium HT miners specifically the Bobcat miner um, and you can get that one for about 500 bucks but there's a little bit of wait time when the HS boxes and other miners come in at gold shell normally especially for these little ones they're ready to ship in like a week or so very quick turnaround time very exciting get the instant gratification this is another great option for your first mining rig or if that's your budget um, if you just want to get into mining again this isn't a miner that you build a mining farm out of you don't just get a million hs boxes right there's bigger and better miners for this these exact same coins even from this exact same company like the hs5 but this is an excellent way to get in on the action and again it's very profitable low noise it's and it's just a lot of fun right so that's my take on it that's my two cents this is not a miner for everyone but it may be the miner for you just like i hope this channel the Voscoin youtube channel is the channel for you so please smash a thumbs up on the video leave a comment below let me know your thoughts on the hs box and please subscribe and join me just on this crazy crypto journey i'll see you tomorrow because we're uploading daily so as always, I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one.